Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's taken down at the 40. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They line it up with three receivers. Toss out to the halfback, and he stuffed immediately. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Intercepted. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. Backfields in an offset eye formation. Pressure coming, and he goes down. He took too much time. You got to be more aware in the pocket. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. They're lining up in the 5 2. Throws off balance incomplete. Well, he threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Complete. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Yep, it was a decent pass and a decent catch. But you got to get to the sticks. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. Great penetration in the backfield. For such a big guy, this guy's got some really quick feet. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. They knock it down, incomplete. Excellent awareness to get in position to make the play on the ball. The quarterback threw that one so high that the safety had all day to get there. He's got to put a little bit more heat on his throws if he wants to get the ball to his receivers. And it's caught, and they make the stop around the 37-yard line. Oh, he had the defensive back on his heels. That defender didn't know if it was going to be a post, a corner, a hitch, or a streak. Nice job by the receiver of running a crisp post route, beating the man coverage, and keeping the drive alive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Ace backfield. Again with the run. He fights forward to about the 40. That'll be a gain of three yards. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 40. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. They go with the run. He's on the run. And he's tackled. At the 46. That's a nice six yard game. Third down again. Four wide. He's hit and taken down.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Now it's time for the defense to buckle down and see if they can stop this quarterback. Second and five coming up here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Single set backfield. He'll get the call again. And down he goes at the 33. And that's their third first down of the drive. Great blocking and great running equals. Very successful offense. And they've looked really good on this drive, Coach. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Takes it right and brought down right away. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll knock him down for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Coach, what in the world happened there? Let me say this. That is not how you draw up a pass play. And the coach is really mad. I'll bet you a lollipop that that doesn't happen again. Coach, you've got yourself a deal, my friend. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Got an opening. His man, oh, what a hit. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. They come out in a goal line set. Man in motion. and goal. Nice play there to pick up the first down. Kirk, that was quite an acrobatic catch. They don't get much better than that. No doubt. He did a great job of getting up in the air, ignoring the defenders, and coming down with the ball. On play action, hit and gets away. Gain of two. Second down. So they line up on the three-yard line going in. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. At the end of the first quarter, the score is tied at zero. He's off to the back, and he's in. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. Summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks off. They'll bring him down at the 25. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Single set back for you. They'll run the option. And now he pitches it. Tackle around the 28-yard line. Just about three yards there. <laughs> hey, Kirk, it looks like this kid just spent the night out on the town. Well, he took a big hit there, Coach. I don't think he's got his equilibrium back yet. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Third and two. Two tight ends here. It's complete. And he's tackled 
at about the 49. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw him practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in a game like they did all week in practice. Good job. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Dangerous pass, and they just about had it going the other way. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. One man backfield. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. Picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Tried to sidestep by there, but a good tackle on the play. That'll be a game of three yards. Good pressure from the defense. They brought the heat. Wasn't much room for the running back to work with. They'll run the option. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. Around five yards there on the option keep. Two tight ends here. You'll get the call again. He did not get to the first down marker. They'll still be short of the first down. They didn't have far to go, Brad, but it didn't matter because this defense was ready for them. And now it's fourth down, coach. They'll run for it. Can't get there. Well, they'll turn it over on downs. Did they have to go for it there? Well, sometimes you got to take your chances. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. They'll set up shop at the 30-yard line. It's first and 10. Ace backfield. They'll work the right side. Tackle made at about the 35. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. They line it up with three receivers. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 37. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. One man backfield. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Not much of a game there. I'm thinking they need to attack the deep parts of the field a little bit more. Keep those safeties on their toes. Like I always say, Coach, anything is better than moving back. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. That'll be a two-yard gain. The blitz was pretty effective on that play, Coach. Yep. They plugged up the holes well, so the back was not able to go very far. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. You can only cover someone in man coverage for so long. On this play, the receiver had enough time to run his route and find an open spot in the field after his route was done. That's a little harder for the offense to do against zone coverage, but against man, forget about it. Somebody's getting open. They line it up with three receivers. Swatted away. Hey, Coach, they are pretty lucky that ball wasn't picked off. The receiver needs to become the defender in this type of situation. That's true, Kirk. A little roll reversal. Here's the halfback. And down he goes. At the 13-yard line, eight yards on the pickup. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They stack the line of scrimmage here. Let's see who's got the stronger lineman. They'll drop in for a loss. They were not going to let them close to the market. Big play on third down. That's just what they needed, a strong stop to get some momentum back on their side. Miami can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Oh, 
And they tack on three points. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends it downfield. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Going with the shotgun here. And they motion a the guy to the right. decent pickup that time. And see, guys, that's when this offense is at their best. If they can connect on these intermediate patterns, they'll allow them to be a lot more creative on offense. If the defense wants to stop those quick throws, then they should really put somebody up on the line and pump these receivers to throw them off their routes. First down, just nickel and dime them. Nothing wrong with that. It was a good play call. Just take what the defense gives you. Timeout called by the offense. Three wideouts here. He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. They got a few yards on that pass. Yeah, we talked about how the run will open up the passing game. But some teams like to use their intermediate passing game to open up the run. Either way you look at it, it's good balance. And again, it's the wide receiver who's making a play. He's definitely been a favorite target for this quarterback. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. It's first and 10. Backfields in an offset eye formation. Caught out in the open. He just couldn't juke the defender, and he's brought down. I love it. This receiver was not afraid to run a slant route against zone coverage. It takes guts to run routes through the middle of the field against zone. Way to look it in and pick up the first and ten. And it's knocked down. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Looks to him again, complete. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. If they keep this up, they're not going to see a third down all drive. The quarterback is making it very clear who his go-to guy is on this drive. Through the uprights. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He hits a booming kick. Brought down at the 33. Well, we've played a half of football, and our score is the Hurricanes, 10, the Spartans, 3. Miami is set to kick this ball off to start the second half. From the five-yard line. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Backfields in an offset eye formation. Balls back as he throws and almost paid for it with a pick. <laughs> I love it when they look at their hands after a drop, as if their hands should have done something different. That's kind of the same look you give your golf club sometimes, right, Coach? They go with a counter, and he's hit in the backfield. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. That's what time and practice will bring you, Kirk. Drops back to pass. Caught over the middle. And they make the stop at the 49. We've got a first and ten. High formation here. Back 
tackle made at the 39. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass on. Well, when you're trying to get to the quarterback with the blitz, you better have some talented corners because they could end up on an island out there all alone. He drops back. Nice tackle made there to bring him down. If you're going to send the middle linebacker, you better reach home. Otherwise, the quarterback will pick you apart for first downs like we just saw in that play. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. The kicker got him three points in that last red zone visit. Let's see if they can come away with six this time. That's a live ball. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. And that is certainly not what they wanted to do with the ball on this possession. That was a big recovery by the defense. Now we'll see if their offense can finish the job. It's a very heads-up play by this defense. They didn't stop for a second when they saw the pass hit the turf. They knew it was a backwards pass, and they fell on the football. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. They come out with three wide receivers. This one is batted away. Third and 11. They line up with one running back in the backfield. Three wide. Got it and brought down immediately. That was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. And now on fourth down, these guys will have to punt this ball away. Good stop. Punts it away. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. This offense really has to avoid silly turnovers. Yep, especially now. This offense is down a touchdown, so they could really use some points right here and now. They could do it if they could do it without turnovers. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 40. They line up in a double tight set. He's going left. And that one's incomplete. That was the safety who got in there to knock it down. This kid isn't just a ball hawk, but he can hit you as well. Don't let his size fool you. Hand off and he won't make it. That's not going to move the sticks. Now, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. Kicks up. And he missed it to the right. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. So our count is still Michigan State, three, Miami, ten. They'll get the ball here at the 39. First down, ten yards to go. Single set backfield. Little handoff. They weren't going to let him score him three on that play. He got what he could, and it wasn't much. There was no room for the halfback to go anywhere right there. That was a design run blitz by the middle linebacker, and they played the run about as well as you could. We've got second and nine here. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 39. Ace backfield. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He tries to juke, but they bring him down. And he showed nice touch there on that pass. First and ten. Ball on the 50. High formation here. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. They gained five yards there. It's second and five here. One man backfield. Again with a carry. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. The halfback gets a couple there on the counter. 
Single set backfield. He's looking for his man. And this one's going to get intercepted. Coach, that's the second interception right there. Man, you got to avoid those turnovers. They kill you every time. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Here's the give. And they'll get him in the backfield. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Yep, I love this kid. He's a great run stopper as well as a great pass rusher. He's the real deal, Kirk. He can do it all. The defense sets up in the dime. Pass complete and taken down immediately. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Good coverage by the cornerback to make a sure tackle after the reception. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. They line it up with three receivers. They go with the run. He's gobbled up in the backfield. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. They come out in a nickel. They go with the run. Tackle. Right around the 46-yard line. That's a nice six-yard game, but only a quarter remains, and we've got a tight game with the score. Miami, 10. Michigan State, 3. It's third and five. Ball on the 46-yard line. Two tight ends here. Pulls it in, and he wants more, and we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33. Miami is up a score. Here's the pass, broken up. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. And he's immediately tackled. That's just how they drew it up. When I talked to this coach earlier in the week, he thought he could take advantage of zone coverage by attacking the perimeter outside the hashes. That time, it was a corner route that got him the first down. Gives it off, and they make the stop at about the 17-yard line. Five yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's second down. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Wow, that was the cornerback who got into the backfield there. How about that for some run support? Well, when you've got a guy that can cover receivers and come in and make big hits in the running game, then you know you've got a special cornerback. This guy can cover like a corner and hit like a safety. That is something special. Complete. He's got room. And that sets them up with a first and goal. These days, you need a running back who can not only run the football, but who has good hands as well. Yeah, and this kid just put his hands on display. That's a great pickup by this back. Miami can smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out here. Brought down at the four. He barely got it past the line of scrimmage that time. Ooh, hoo, hoo. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Hey, Coach, 
Linebacker sniffed that play out from the start. Yep, he wasn't going to be denied that tackle no matter who was trying to block him. They come out with a big set. Here, the quarterback just dumps it off to his tight end. But give this defense some credit. They just didn't let him go anywhere. Miami is up seven. Less than three minutes in the game. And it's right now. Take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Miami lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it away. He got hit hard. Coach Herbie, what's your take right now? These guys have to get off their horse and find a new horse because the old horse isn't going to get them two scores as quickly as they need to get them. Turby? Again, this is an analogy I will never quite understand. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. Impressive completion there, guys. If this quarterback keeps throwing the football like this all the way to the end zone, he might earn himself a really, really good yoke. He's looking to pass. And we'll take a break while the injured players attended to. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 24. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. So they pick up the first down, and I wouldn't write this one off just yet, fellas. They connected there on third down, and they need to continue to move the ball like this to stay in this ball game. And they don't have much time to spare. They need to score and leave some time on the clock for an onside kick. First down, 10 yards to go. Three wideouts here. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. They'll grab 10 yards there. Guys, with just two minutes to go, they're going to be dead in the water if they don't get a first down. They come out with three wide receivers. They go with a the run. They'll bring him down at the 45. They got to hurry up here, guys. They need to score quickly here. But I don't know if they're trying too hard to stop the clock. Well, they were more concerned about converting the first down in that situation, it looked like. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. How about that? If you're going to blitz both cornerbacks, they'd better get to the quarterback. That's too easy of a read, and that's why we're looking at a first down. They line up in the shotgun. There are flags all over the place. Here's the call from the head referee. Coach, coach, coach. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First down and five to go. Ball on the 38. Man in motion. it to the outside this one will fall incomplete Kirk didn't that kid tell us he used to play tight end in high school mm, maybe he meant a blocking tight end in the goal line package throws incomplete intended for his wide out so we're looking at another third down here the defense comes out with five defensive backs this time Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. 
That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Decides to slide. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 47. Two tight ends here. Here's a handoff left side. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They lose four there. Nickel defense. Throws on the run. Interception. And we'll take a break while the injured players attended to. We've got a first and ten. Bunch formation. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. What a great play call there. They came right out of the gates and attacked the defense through the air on first down. Yeah, it was a really nice gain on the pass. Let's see if they go back to the air again on the next play. It's first down on the 11 going in. Based on their last visit to the red zone, I'd expect them to take better care of the ball this time around. Catches it. Excellent open field tackle. Look here. These guys have to try to establish a running game. Then later, they can start to pass it. They've got to let the big guys up front do their job and pave the way for the running back. They thought they could sneak something by the defense here on first down. It's not so. Loss of three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Single set back to you. Got it and brought down immediately. Doesn't get enough for the first down. Yeah, nice job of making a few yards, but they got to be disappointed they didn't make the first down. Yeah, that's not going to get the job done on third down. That was pretty much the quarterback's only option. Didn't get him the first. So the offense will turn the ball over on downs. Even though this one won't show up in the books as a turnover, believe me, it's still a turnover. They'll start this drive at the 15-yard line. They line up in an eye. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle at the 26-yard line. This one's in the books, and our final score, Miami 13, Michigan State 3. Kirk, as we take a look at our Pontiac game-changing performance, your thoughts on this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Michigan State had a few missed opportunities in this game, and I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. Folks, that's going to wrap up another broadcast of NCAA Football 09. We'd like to thank all of you for playing, and we hope you join us again real soon. Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody. Thank you for attending today's ball game. Please drive home safely.